Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Before I get started on this vintage slash botanical themed snail mail, I want to quickly show you a few of the late entries for the mini mail challenge. Due to COVID, um, they arrived a bit late unfortunately, but I've got this one here, this beautiful little one here that arrived, and a couple others, and also a little package from Canada that I wanted to show you on camera. So let me quickly open them up first and then we can get started in uh, um, on the snail mail tutorial. Now this one here is all the way from Turkey and I've been messaging um, this lovely lady back and forth. I'll just quickly show you their Instagram if you want to go check them out. Is that in focus? So go check out for some beautiful snail mail inspiration. Um, I'll have their Instagram link in the description box below. So cute. Alrighty. So we have this beautiful postcard. Oh my God, I love this so much. And then we've got a little mail inside. First of all, beautiful design on the top. I love the little mushroom and this beautiful dried flower. Oh, it's so cute, it gets smaller and smaller. <gasps> this gorgeous rabbit. I love that stamp so much. Pretty much I loved everything about this mail so far. <laughs> Okay, let me zoom out a bit so you can see all of their designs. So we've got the letter there, and then we've got the even mini mail inside. And it looks like it's an old map that they've used to create this envelope. <laughs> it's like a pass the parcel. Do you guys remember playing that as a kid? Oh, beautiful. It says it's gonna be a zine. Adorable little mini mail here. Is that in focus? I hope so. Oh, so cute. We've got movies. Playlist. And books. I love it. Thank you so much. Does that open up? I don't think so. Oh, it's cute. Thank you so much. I love everything. And I definitely think you would have a fantastic chance of winning if you were in the original challenge. So please let me know, guys, in the description box below um, what you thought of this little mini mail. Um, I'm sure it's going to get a lot of fantastic comments because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So this next mini mail is from Snail Mail Monday. Let me just show you their Instagram. Um, and again, they've got a Instagram with beautiful snail mail designs. So go check them out if you wanna see some snail mail inspiration. I love the colors on this mini mail. It looks like a celebrations inside. Happy mini mail. Lots of confetti. <laughs> Alrighty, so start off with this beautiful bunting at the top. Oh, how lovely. Okay, so there's a little envelope with bananas and then it's a little flip book. So we've got some washi tape. Um, I think that's a little bookmark. Oops, it's not going back inside. And then on this side, we've got more goodies. So stickers, pressed flowers, gorgeous flowers. We've got a little note, which I will read off camera. And then another little envelope up here. Let's take these out. And there's colourful stickers inside. That's so cool. I love the layout of this little mini mail. Very, very cute. Let's see what's inside of the banana card. <laughs> oh, it's banana bread recipe. Oh, I love that. What a good idea. Oh, how cute. And I love all these little coloured in bananas. So much fun. I love the colours of use throughout your little mini mail. This next one here is from Matt. And I'm not 100% sure if it's um, supposed to be for the mini mail challenge. But I did find this mini mail inside. So I thought I'd open it up on camera just in case it's part of the challenge. So as you can see, it's got my little address and it's so small. And I think this is meant to be like a little stamp on the top. Oh, cute. <laughs> Hello Brittany, your mini mail challenge gave me so much ideas. Thank you so much. Hope you like the way I made the mini mail. Sincerely, Matt. Oh, so cute. Even the little letter is teeny. What does this say? Mail tag, can you reply? I can't see the mail tag. And then the teeniest tiny washi tape sample I think I've ever received. 
And then, oh, it's a mini postcard. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. Thank you. Thank you so much for this little mini mail and I adore this postcard so much. I'm going to put it in my little art studio that I created. Um, unfortunately, I can't reply back to everyone, but I'll see what I can do in the future when I've got a little bit more time. So thank you so much for um, participating in this challenge. So last is this beautiful package from Canada and I absolutely love the style. You can see the little sticker girls that I sell in my shop. I've actually sent Barbara a package before. Um, so thank you so much for purchasing items from my stationery collection and I can't wait to see what you've created with it so let's open it up this honestly looks like I've created it myself <gasps> I didn't show you guys the bee oh wow can you guys see that that's so pretty oh my goodness this is so cute these stamps are incredible and so are these. I absolutely love these. Okay, so we've got this first one. <gasps> it gets even prettier. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then we've got, <gasps> these are lovely. Wow, this is amazing. And then what's this? Oh my goodness me. I think this is a handmade book. This is just incredible. How beautiful is this drawn picture? Looks like a little fairy, I love it. And inside is the letter. So we've got the letter inside of this envelope. We'll see what's inside of this one here. So let's see what's inside this pocket at the top first. We've got washi tape samples. <gasps> yes, these moons. We've got some beautiful papers, some memo pads adorable minnow fans and some really cool envelopes as well oh I love thank you again these stamps let me just check there's nothing else in there nope then let's open this up oh wow look inside of these envelopes how pretty is that ah <gasps> yes we've got more papers these look like handmade envelopes because they're the same um, papers as the ones that were in the book. That's so cool. Oh, I love this one. Thank you. Sorry, can you hear the train in the background? Some stickers and some more papers. Thank you so much, Barbara, and thank you so much to everyone who sent me something special in the mail this month. Um, and let's get on with the video, and I'll show you my way of making a vintage slash botanical theme sale mail.